you know, no, and uh, so I, I, I tease him with that cover, original cover. Uh, nice person, um, straightforward. I remember I came and said, Sam George says you don't want him on your show again. What's the problem? Say, remember Sam George, my show should be more careful. In your answer, in your Sam George, I said, very straightforward, and uh, <laughs> it's difficult to change him when he takes a decision. So I can only say maybe he was a choleric, straight to the point person, hard working person. Even in these times, he knew he wasn't feeling too well, but he was still coming to work. I remember him for this. Um, he died on the job. I'm supposed to have a one on one with him today. That's how shocked I am. And we arranged this last Wednesday. And so when I heard that he was gone on Sat Sat Saturday, I said, no, it, it can't be true. I'm meeting him on Monday. I mean, truly bizarre and transient can life be and this just brings it home our own mortality to us if it happened to him it could be any one of us left home in the morning the next time his wife saw him he was a corpse can you just imagine you know so i don't know why we worry ourselves If you've just tuned in, uh, we're bringing to you some live pictures from the forecourt of our offices here at Kokob, namely the multimedia uh, buildings where we have the one week celebration of Kaba as he passed exactly a week uh, today. His wife, Valentina, uh, is, being, uh, is coming through this morning and as you can see, she's totally broken just like uh, the many of us. Uh, Uh, that's Kaba's, the late Kaba's wife uh, being brought in this morning uh, for the one week memorial of his passing. Totally broken Valentina there, uh, simply can't hold herself. This was so unexpected uh, and he's gone. We acknowledge the fact that many of you, those who may have known him, those who did not, but have come to know him even in his death, you probably wanted to be here with us. There's still room if you can, but if you cannot, that's why we're bringing you this live coverage so you can be a part of the ceremony here uh, in Kokum Limli this morning, live on Joy News. It's also live on myjoyonline.com. We're streaming uh, on our other networks on Adom and Joy Primer as well. And the late Kwejo Asariba for Echampong. We all called him Kaba. He was host of Asempera FM's political talk show, Eko Sin and he would usually be on air every weekday afternoon from 2 to 6.30 p.m. and on Saturday mornings as well. But as we've, as we've come to realize now, he hasn't been on air for the past week. So coming in are friends and family, uh, people who are associates of the late Kaba. Uh, some ha have come who had not even met him in person, but had heard a lot about him since his passing. Uh, they are all here this morning, and you can join us from wherever you are to be part of this one week uh, celebration. We'll be touching base. My colleague Komla Adom is on the ground. He will tell us who is here and what exactly is going to happen this morning.
We're bringing to you live pictures from the forecourt of Joy FM. Uh, indeed, the multimedia buildings here in Kokumlimli. And it's exactly one week since our colleague, our friend and brother, Kwajo Asari Bafo Echampong Kaba passed. And we're observing the one week uh, right here. You're welcome to join us on the grounds we appreciate the fact that you've also tuned in live on television to watch. Shot now is Valentina, that's uh, the late Cabas wife. Uh, there are other family members, including his mother, who are all seated uh, at the forecourt of Joy FM. In a bit, we'll tell you exactly how things would happen uh, as we mark the one week of the uh, one week memorial of the late Kwajo Asari Bafo Echampong. You can send us your messages. Uh, Social media platforms are activated. Send us uh, your message if there's anything that you want to say to us on the day when we're observing the one week memorial of Kaba. If you've got something that you want to share with us, you're welcome to do so. You can do so on Facebook, uh, on Twitter as well.
DC National Organizer. I just arrived, uh, Honorable Kofi Adams. Um, welcome. Thank you. How did you take Kaba's news? I'm still in shock about Kaba's death. And sometimes I still think that he's just on a visit and will be back. Because never did we expect that such should be happening to Kaba at this, at this time. It's been a great loss to us as a country, our governance. His contribution to governance and politics has been monumental. His afternoon show program was a masterpiece, and we will remember him for that. We will remember him for that. Some say he's irreplaceable. Others say that, well, yeah, I mean, others say that it's not. What do you think? Is he irreplaceable? Do you think that Kaba is irreplaceable? You see, those days, at his age, you will never think of them. You hardly will think of them. Yes, when you are young, you may go. But when you're watching Joy News, it's exactly a week today uh, when our friend, our colleague, our brother, Kwejo Asari Bafwe Champong, a.k.a. Kaba, died. And we're observing the one week here in Kokum Limle at the forecourt of Joy FM, indeed in front of all our buildings here in Kokum Limle. And you can join us if you can, but if you cannot, of course, you will not be left out uh, of the celebrations. We're celebrating a life, even though short, well-lived, Kaba was 37 years. My colleague Komla Adum is on the grounds. He'll be joining us uh, to tell us what to expect. But Malik is also joining me here on uh, on Airy. Well, I've seen a few personalities arrive. Do we know who and who and who are coming? I've confirmed that they are coming. Okay, we're we're waiting for the vice president of Ghana. Uh, Honorable Alan Chematen just uh, sent a message through that he's coming to. We are supposed to see him around 10 a.m. Uh, I know that uh, Mrs. Uh, Gisela Benidazi just left because she came very early. And so, um, like I said yesterday, a wide range of personalities. Some of them will not tell you, but traditionally, you don't really need to inform people when you are coming. So we know we are going to see a lot more of them without... Um, yeah, so we, we, our doors are open to all. I, I, I've just mentioned just a few that we are aware. Some will come without informing you ahead of time. And um, at what time exactly are we starting from here? Because I've just seen the widow being ushered in. Was she the one we're waiting for? And are we going to start any moment from now? Um, with with one week celebrations, uh, like I said, it starts from 6 a.m. and it's through the day. And so people come and people go. So we are ready. You can hear music in the background. And so you can just pass through and sh show your love to the late cover. I'm sure at this point we're to have the official announcements for the final barrier rights. Is that correct? Sure. It happens on the... The, the, the celebration of the first one week and so by end of today or halfway through we'll let the public know when we are burying our brother thank you very much mark okrekumante you just heard there mark okrekumante he is programs director in charge of hits fm he's just been walking us through what exactly it is that's happening at the forecourt of the multimedia premises he says People are going to be walking in and walking out, sympathizers, friends, family members, going to be walking in, walking out, essentially commiserating with family and friends and staff of a multimedia group. And then at the end of the day, we will know the official burial dates for the send-off for our brother and friend, Kweju Asariba for Echampong. And that's Komla Adum with... Uh our other colleague giving us uh, a lot more details uh, as to what to expect but really it's uh, it's open for all you can join us if you can here on the grounds uh, to be part uh, of this but Malik is also here with me so that's uh, Mark Okrehumante a while ago 
uh, talking to Komla Adung. If you just tune in while you're watching Joe News, it's about 19 minutes after 8. Uh,